The famous American newspaper, The New York Times, has published an investigation on international media, in particular African media television. According to The New York Times, African media television is the Kremlin's mouthpiece and serves to communicate for the Wagner Group in Africa. The New York Times investigated on African media channel and its alleged links to Russia, particularly the Wagner paramilitary group, in a 16-page document. During the Russia-African summit, one of the alleged senior executives of Afrik Media Television, Justin Tagu, was photographed with leading members of the Wagner Group, such as Prigozhin. This suggests a link between Afrik Media Television and the influential Russian military company, which page 2 of the investigation itself. The analysis of the evolution of the different communities on the social networks was an important part of this document because this evolution took into account the activity of the channel over several years and according to them, this evolution was based on the Russian content broadcast on the channel making Afrik Media the pro-Russian African channel whose aim is to communicate about Russia and Wagner throughout Africa. According to page 3 of the study, Amplification of Afrik Media Television of Content, the Kremlin's diplomatic site highlights an active involvement in the pro-Russian narratives. By strategically publishing pro-Russian propaganda videos on various social media platforms, Afrik Media Television demonstrates a liberated strategy to extend the reach of these stories beyond traditional media channels, potentially reach a wider online audience. Is there a problem with the cooperation and publication of videos about Russia, considering that the various platforms of Afrik Media Channel publish contents from all over the world, especially Chinese, and purely African contents?